Avija to the basket. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Danny Avija. How dare they? We're here just outside of Tel Aviv with Denny Avdia. Uh, Denny, you've had a, about half a season here with, with Maccabi, Israeli League, Euro League. Uh, how would you describe how this year has gone for you so far? I mean, um, it's been great. Uh, we have a great team this year. Uh, we're fighting, we're, I think we're fifth right now in, in the Euro League. Um, we're in the top five teams. So uh, playing with those players, we have a lot of experienced players, uh, a lot of uh, ex-NBA players. And it's an honor for me to play with them, and it's super fun, you know, when when you're a successful team and, and you have good uh, chemistry around the team. So it's fun to play with. How's it been for you, you know, coming off a under-20 European Championship where you were kind of the guy, uh, you and Yam, you know, had an incredible showing out there, and now you're fitting in with, you know, all these different pieces. Uh, what's that like for you, the adjustment? I mean that's part of basketball, you know. Not uh, not all the time you're gonna be in a comfortable situation or a team that uh, you have you're the main player, so you you need to know how to fit in in, in each team and and to do your best to help the team to win. You know that's that's what uh, it's all about. So we we've been watching you since uh, the under 16s in Montenegro. Right. Um, you know I I just remember your passing and you're you're flashy and, and and the first time we interviewed you. You know, you had you had some swag. Uh, how how have you? How have the last few years been for you? How have you kind of developed? You think? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not the most flashy player. I have some some uh, here and there, but yeah. um, I'm just um, I'm just working hard. I'm just uh, trying to um, develop my body. For now, I think it's very very important. Uh, I didn't finish growing yet, so we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Um, just working hard, working on my shot, making sure uh, I'm shooting a lot of, of, of shots uh, during uh, the season. You know, we have a really tough schedule, so it's not easy to fit in uh, a lot of uh, hard work. But I'm working smart and I'm working hard. And I think that's the most, imp- most important for me as a player right now. For sure. And so we're going to break down some of your film here. We're going to dive into some areas where you've been really strong and some of the main reasons teams are excited about you. And then also maybe some things you're still working on. So... Uh, For me, one of the most interesting aspects of your game is your ability to grab a rebound and push in the open court, almost play like like a point guard. And this is something we've seen, like I said, since the under 16s uh, with these quick outlet passes. So you can see here the hit ahead. Uh, I think that's Quincy AC just moving the ball ahead. uh, You know, guys are going to want to play with you. Where does that that come from? Is there anyone you grew up watching that you took that from? I mean, no, I just um, it's it's been a habit since I was uh, since I was little. I think uh, if if you see my clips when I was six, five, fifth, fifth grade, Mm -hmm. I think you'll see this. It was always in my game. That that, that, that aspect, aspect was always in my game. Uh, always I see it on films and uh, you know I'm trying to make it a habit all the time when I'm grabbing the rebound to look forward That's, and if there's no uh, thing in, uh, forward I pass it to the point guard or I bring the ball you know it depends yeah and, and that's again one of the main things that, that stood out to me what do you see here you, you we've seen you kind of thread the needle like this a few different times I mean I see Tyler uh, running forward uh, he's a fast player and uh, I know he's ready for the ball I see him I see the eye contact. I see this player. It's not really seeing him. I see him with mm-hmm. the back in the back to the back to the player. So I just uh, I just make a bounce pass uh, strong enough to 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 get to Tyler. Uh, you need really to to make it strong so so it won't be too low for Tyler so he can catch the ball. And um, yeah, we've seen this. There it is, right on the money. Yeah, and right. then the and uh, oh yeah, that's definitely was a fair, some fairly good for me. Yeah, and we saw it. You know, in the Euro League, we've seen it in FIBA. Uh, just being able to thread the needle like that. And then this is the other night. Right. What did you see here? I saw again Tyler. Yeah. Um, and making it, starting to make a move. Uh, just see him uh, again. Uh, I like those bounce ba- bounce passes because th- this defender uh, really hard to steal. Mm-hmm. I-, I think I didn't bounce pass though. I think he was a little this bit is on a rope. Yeah. yeah, so I think he he was a little bit off off him. So I I could I could throw that throw that pass. It's just in generally yeah to make uh, make those plays. Yeah, right on the money, uh, and then you know that's going to get him two free throws. Um, and then here maybe finding the right balance between hitting ahead and finding guys and looking for your own offense, um, I would just say make them play you, you know, whether yeah. it's maybe you have a pull-up three, um, maybe you have, I think, Zeus 
trailing there, uh, you know, just a tough pass to make. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and finding that balance between really attacking. But this I love. Like, I love when your aggression or super aggressive, head of steam, and just attacking the rim. You remember this play? Oh, definitely. I remember this play, yeah. What did you see? I just see uh, I just see two big guys. Like, they're, they're bigger than me. I think they're slower than me. I just see a presidency to attack. If I don't have one, I just go I just go back and, and organize the offense. But but I saw I can break uh, break through them, and that's what I did, you know. And the left-handed dunk. We've seen a few of those this year. Wow, it's like it's, I don't think about what hand I dunk till I'm just really yeah. uh, really up there. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, with the left-handed. And nice. then this is the other night. Um, I think for you, it's important to kind of figure out a way to play high and low and change speeds, change directions rather than just straight line upright, as you can kind right. of see here. Do you remember this play? Yeah, I remember. I would, yeah. Anything you would have done differently or? Um, maybe, maybe a lob to O cause mm-hmm. this, cause this defender is way less athletic than, yeah. than him. Like mm-hmm. just can throw it up there. Maybe, you know, that's the, I think was the, the but that, you know, it was like, it was the beginning of the game and yep. I had seven straight points. So yeah. I thought, yeah. Like, Gotta be aggressive. Yeah. Got to be aggressive. But you're definitely right. Yeah, maybe the drop-off, maybe the lob, or setting up a Euro. Uh, I think finding more ways to get to the free-throw line as well yeah. for you, just given your size. Uh, you know, just a tough shot. But, uh, again, really strong start to the game for you. And uh, in transition, like I said, is, is really where you thrive. And especially when you push, give it up, and then sprint the lane. Like, I love this play here. You're active, you're aggressive, and then you finish above the rim. Um and then you're fired up. Well, what was that game like? The Halone game. I mean, that's what, that was the breakthrough. Like, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't play like this since I think the under twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was it was super fun game for me to play. Just breaking through, like see the real uh, all around that that I that I can do, and I and I was still a bit shy to do. Mm-hmm. But um, this game, I had the opportunity to 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 do it, and it was uh, you know I was in a zone. Yeah, that was, again, like FIBA version of you that I, I remember seeing over and over. And so love your ability to get out in transition. In the half court, I think for you to have an impact initially in the NBA, because there's so many talented ball handlers, right? right? Definitely. So you're going to have to find a way to play off of other guys, which right. you've had to do this year. And I think the biggest aspect of that is your shooting um, and, and being a threat off the catch. Where do you think you're at right now as a perimeter shooter? I think um, uh, not stable. Um, I think I had a lot of improvement in mm-hmm. my shot. Um, you know, you get, you get, you get stronger, you get yeah. a little bit longer, mm-hmm. you know, shots, shots are really, are really dynamic yeah. in this age. But yeah. I think, uh, as my body's uh, progressing and is becoming, a becoming a one piece, I think, uh, the shooting has improved and it's, and it's improving still, you know, I'm shooting a lot of shots. Um, I'm working hard on my shot. I'm doing a lot of technique shots, and and uh, I think you can see the improvements. Yeah, and you're almost 35% in the Israeli league. Uh, I think a big thing for you is just being shot ready with your hands and feet ready to go, uh, ready to fire here. You do a great job of that in rhythm. Uh, you know, you have sound mechanics. There's no reason you won't be a really good NBA shooter. Again, hands and feet ready, on balance. That's perfect. One thing you do sometimes is you don't always stay in your shot, I would say. So watch right, here. Go, go backwards. Right. Exactly. And then there's the miss. Yes. But now, c- compare that to this. You do a great job circling up in pick and roll. You're on balance. And look at how you stay in the shot. Like that. That's when you're an accurate shooter. Um, and then... When you're making shots, they have to close out hard, right? right? So what do you, what did you see here? I just see him closing out hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I shot a lot of uh, I, I shot a couple of threes that game, so he probably want to contest my shot. Mm-hmm. Fake shot him, go right, uh, gave gave me the right. So um, just penetrated right. Yeah, yeah you attack, yeah, and then again the lefty dunk. Wow, um, I, I don't know what to say about it. Just I don't, <laughs> I don't know something about that left hand. Um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then again, you know, a hard closeout. Uh, you're able to kind of play read and She's react, going, yeah. and then with the drop off, you know, with your ability to pass uh, when you can play off of instincts and they're forcing you off your spots, uh, that makes you, you know, really effective and, and really tough to defend. Now, the one thing I'll say is, after you miss one. Uh, sometimes you stop looking at the rim, right? And and kind of predetermine your moves. And so, as you can see here, like, look how much space wide, wide open. Yeah. Wide so open. if you could do that again, you would what? Yeah, I, I probably shoot it, but yep. I don't, I don't think I regret what I did because he's he's much more much slower than me, so uh-huh. he knows I'm gonna shoot right now. Right. So I can fake and just go to the rim. But yeah, I can I can definitely shoot right here. Yeah, I think just stepping into yeah. open shots because that's you know that's a tough shot at the rim. Again, picking your spots and um, definitely. But here's one little note also like. Okay, maybe you're not wide open, 
but I would just attack left, you know, rip left. And cause when you're driving right where the ball came from, right. there's just not as much space. If he comes, I'll kick it back. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I think continuing to work on your left hand, how much of an emphasis has that been for you? Uh, important. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, the left, uh, left hand is very important uh, for a basketball player. Uh, it gives you uh, versatility, mm-hmm. uh, and make the defenders think more. Mm-hmm. But I think, uh, I'm just, it's not that I'm not good. Uh, with my left hand, mm-hmm. but I just afraid to go there sometimes. Yeah, you know where there's uh, tie like tie games and better right. and like yeah. stressful situations. Mm-hmm. It's it's harder for me to go left, but I think I can go left uh, and and create also. It's something I didn't think about it right now. Yeah, it's just becoming was, more comfortable. I, it was the beginning of the season, no? Was yeah, the beginning game? of the season, and I think you even draw a foul. Um, so you end up drawing a foul. It's just one little thing yeah. uh, to keep in mind, and then. Uh, one last part about playing off the ball. Spacing. Uh, spacing, yes. And also, like, re-spacing when you give it up. So when you give it up, rather than standing, get uh, back. just keep moving, keep moving, and then get your hands and feet in front of you. Uh, and I think that's a big reason why you misfire here is just, um, you know, that, that's a tough shot when you're kind of falling off back balance. and off balance. Here you do a great job of it. You give it up to Jake, then you come for the DHO, hop into it. Uh, you know, that's beautiful. And then when they have to chase you, what happens here? Do you remember this? Um, no. So they have to chase you, right? right. Because if, if you're not a shooter or you're not comfortable shooting, they're probably just going to go under, under that. Right. right. But they have to chase, go over, and then... It's easy. Yep. He's, and then he's the committing. Helps. He's committing. Um, I see Jake Cohen. Um, help side, if, if he comes, Q's going to under the rim. And boom. Easy basket. Easy yeah. bucket. So we've seen you in transition. Uh, we've seen you kind of playing off the ball, and I think you also do a great job of moving off the ball as a cutter. Not something we touched on here, but uh, you know that's going to be really important at the next level. Now, if you're going to be setting screens or you're going to be playing as sometimes a three-four, even uh, they're going to be switching, right. and, and you're going to have to punish those, right? Right. Uh, and you've been pretty good in those situations. How do you feel you are in the post? Love the post. Yeah. Wow. Love it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. Um, I wasn't good. Mm-hmm. that good mm-hmm. um but i worked with uh, my coach mm-hmm. velico we worked about um we had a board so we had um like a board of wood mm-hmm. and i just go pivot mm-hmm. i just pivot around mm-hmm. uh, make a lot of pivots you know with my legs starting burning yeah so the work in the post was re- really effective for me you know all the all the moves and stuff mm-hmm. I just feel the most advantage there when I have the mismatch, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know like I don't know like the the NBA style, but I I love to go there, you know. It's yeah, I think it's going to be a part of your game too because you can pass out of the post. Definitely. Um, you know, it's an underrated part for for wings and guards. I uh, love the post. I th- I think I think I think if 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 your player like strong like uh the three men in the in the NBA, I will go to the post. Yeah. Almost every offense, you know. But that's me, that's me, that's what I think. But um you know, everybody with their style, you know. Yeah, no, I love it. And, and you guys have been running kind of cross screens to get you touches yeah. also. Uh here they're fronting. Yeah. You do a nice job showing a target, you dodge the weak side, uh same foot, same hand finish. What do you remember about this? Uh I remember the spin move float. Yep. So you can kind of feel him leaning on your body. Yes. You do a nice job of feeling that out, spinning into Floating. like the little float game. Uh, and one, I believe, too. Yes. Um, one thing I would say is maybe becoming more comfortable with your left hand over your right shoulder. Um, I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. Just kind of a little Easy bunny lefty. you probably should have finished. But yes. if you extend with the left. Uh, Easy lefty. Yeah, Definitely. that's probably a finish. Uh, but this is really going to serve you well, I think. Do you remember this? Yeah, fade away. Yep. A uh, little bit of Kobe. Right oh there, yeah off the glass for kobe what did what did kobe i guess mean to you obviously the tragic news i mean um i can tell you the truth that he wasn't my favorite player um i didn't wake as uh, you guys woke uh to see him play mm-hmm. but i can give him as as much respect as everybody because this uh player this amazing player, he changed the game mm-hmm. for everybody. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe I didn't like him as a player, but he changed the game. Mm-hmm. And he changed the game I love, and and he had a lot of impact and on a lot of players. And that's why I think that's why we play, because mm-hmm. uh, people see him play and give him. They he gives him, he gives people motivation and to give uh, the mentality of how to work. Uh, how much time to work and how hard to work, I think that's that's uh, why I respect him so much, you know? No, for sure. Killer mentality. Definitely. Uh, and, again, 
uh, just being really effective in these spots. So here's a little bit of Dirk uh, with the one oh, foot yes. fall away. Oh, you remember yes, this? German, yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> oh, but it was I, I can I can tell you it's because of late yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah, shot clock. But still, <laughs> yeah. No, you you knocked this nice. down. Uh, and so being able to operate over either shoulder, uh, mostly against switches, I think is, is going to benefit you in the NBA. And then you can pass out of this also. Do you remember this? Yes. What do you see here? Uh, mostly when I go to the post, I always go, I, I won't go back to the basket. Mm -hmm. I'll go, I'll go, um, how you say it? Parallel. Mm -hmm. So I'll go like this so I can, so I can see the whole court. Mm -hmm. I can see this the cor this corner I can't see, but mostly mm -hmm. I can see. I can see Zeus in, in this eye. Mm -hmm. I can see Tyler right here. Mm -hmm. I can see uh, Angelo, and I mm -hmm. can see Jake. So I can mm -hmm. I can see everybody. Mm -hmm. So I'll attack and I'll see what happened. And I see this player doesn't pay attention, so mm -hmm. I just dip, dish it off. To, yeah, to Tyler. really nice drop yeah. off to Tyler. Uh, and you know you can you give teams a lot of versatility because of your ability to you know play out of different actions. And so, all right, so we've seen you transition, we've seen you off the ball, we've seen you playing out of the post. To me, one of the most interesting things about you is how you can play almost as a point guard at times. Uh, we've seen it uh, really as a primary ball handler in different situations. Teams always ask me, what is Denny, right? Like, is he going to be a 3-4? Is he going to be a big point guard? Is he? Uh, and I think your ability to play on the ball a little bit is what makes you interesting. Where do you see yourself? I see myself uh, improving in that aspect because um – I'll be more comfortable because um, I don't have a lot of situation me handling the ball. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's Scotty, mostly yeah. it's Tyler, um, n mostly it's not me. Uh, but when I when I'm when I'm playing, I don't have any problem to handle with pressure. Yeah, my ball handling is not that pure, but I can work on my ball mm -hmm. handling. Um, I can I can I think I can read defenders very well, and mm -hmm. I can change the pace. Um, that's mostly what what what's uh, what what you need to do when when you when you're under pressure. You need to slow down mm -hmm. um, and change change pace. Get closer to the defender and change pace. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, all it does. And for sure. And at the next level, you're going to be facing potentially like a Pat Beverly. Who's yes. Gonna pick you up yes. and get into you. Right? But you, you don't need you need to, you don't need to fight him. You just yeah. you know you can you can dish it off. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. if he guards you, go to the post right. or, or you know take advantage of, of the mismatch. You know you don't need to to handle the ball and cross the half court. Right. Of course you can uh, you can try to, but right. you know it's not going to be that. Smart. Not always going to no, end well. No. Yeah, and I think using your size is is a big you know positive for yeah. you so here may be some areas like you can see just i know this is late the game's over right? yes but you can see here how maybe your handle could use some tightening you know oh just yes one thing just a little bit sloppy you draw the foul whatever uh here's yam kind of speeding you up a little bit you do a nice job not getting ripped um but maybe just slowing down and like getting into the offense yeah, the flow. Offense, right I try, um, to, I try to i try to pass him and just you know just a tough spot just a tough spot yes. to be in but I do think you do a really nice job here using your size. Definitely. Okay. You see small, small. Have them on your hip, and then watch this. Boom. I'm gone. Strong left hand, wide CJ. open three. Yes. So th that's the blueprint right there for you, uh, using your size and using your IQ. Uh, here again against Yam. You remember this? You draw the foul. Yes. Footwork, change pace. Uh, so you've shown that you can. Do it's that. all changing no pace. Question. Yes. Um, and then again here, this is your best game of the season. Okay, you want to attack me? I'm going to blow by, draw the defender, drop it off. Um, so continuing to evolve, I think, is important for you. And then pick and roll. This is maybe the biggest area where you have room to improve uh, just with your pace. How, how often are you working on pick and roll stuff? Uh, I'm, I'm working. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not um, again, we don't have, uh, we have really, really, really tough schedule. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to work as much as I can about, mm -hmm. about pick and roll. Um, I'm just, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I changed the pace. I slowed, I slowed down a little bit. I think this in this level, cause, uh, I was in this level and it, in this level, I, I wasn't, I was never in this level uh, playing pick and roll. Mm -hmm. So I think it was really hard for me in the beginning mm -hmm. to slow down and read mm -hmm. like I usually read. Cause right. I, I, I was under, I was a little bit nervous. Sure. You know? Of course. So, um, it was a little bit hard for me at the beginning, but I think as the time is the time going through, mm -hmm. I think I'm progressing and I'm and I'm reading the game and the pick and roll offense slower and, and better. No, for sure. But I have a lot of room to improve in pick and roll. Definitely, I don't. I see myself in videos and I'm I'm not satisfied, but you know, uh, I think it will improve. No, for sure. And, and the first step for me that I always say is to become a good pick and roll player, and especially a pick and roll scorer, is being able to make this shot when they go under. Like, if they're going to dare you, 
because if they can just go under every screen, yeah. then you're not a factor, yes. right? Yes. And here, you do that perfectly. Knock it down with confidence, and now they're forced to go over. So this is a good example of when they have to fight over, right? This is against Barcelona. Has to fight over. Now it's your world, okay? You can either attack and get downhill. Do you remember what you did here? Yes, I, uh, I lobbed it up because I see two big defenders. Yeah. I don't need to go there. Um, just lob it up to the big, you know, a little bit high lob because they're tall defenders and, and then we and have easy it. money. Yeah. Um, and then here in the Israeli league, one thing I would say is maybe just waiting for the screen, doing a little bit better job waiting for the screen. And this is where kind of experience comes into play, being able to play out of the pocket, being able to change pace, change speeds. So here I would say maybe slowing up and giving him time to roll. Uh, that could draw that weak side defender. You could hit the opposite shooter, um, but you're kind of one speed downhill here, and you know they rip you. Yeah. Uh, so just little nuances like that. Better job waiting for the screen, um, and now it's about okay, how am I going to attack this guy? Right? right? What are your options, kind of here? Would you say maybe hold this player on my back mm -hmm. and wait, mm -hmm. wait for him to see what he's doing? Yep. Um, I think the spacing. Yes. It's not good. It's not it's good. It's not correct. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's just not, there's not yeah. a lot of room to operate. Yeah. Um, but in this situation, like you said, maybe hold him on your back, give him time to roll, or maybe hit him with a Euro or some type of change right. of direction. Or a mid-range. Yeah, exactly. And you try to do that. You try to slow up, um, kind of lose your balance. But it's those little things of playing in the pocket. And here you do a great job of that, like we talk about. Yes. You remember hold this? Yes, on his back, yeah. Okay, you do a great job. He's on your back. And now it's your world, right? right. Now, now in the spacing, again, not great. But you have so many options. Uh, and because he's on your back, the big has to play you. And then you hit him with the pocket pass. Right. Um, at your size, it's, you're going to be a really tough cover just because you can see over the top. You can hold guys on your back. Um, really impressive. Uh, the one thing I'll say is going to your left again in pick and roll is maybe the area you still have to improve. Okay, so you're, you're kind of holding him on your back. Um, and, and you eventually get an assist here. But... Killing your dribble like that. It's not good. Yeah. yeah. So good. I would say either get downhill and attack the big, maybe pull up for a mid range. Um, and you get bailed out. You make a nice play. Tyler makes a nice cut. You get the assist. Uh, but, but the key to pick and roll is being able to operate in those pockets. Um, and, and I think that's the most important thing. And here you do a nice job holding him on your back. You remember this? Yes. What happened? I just do a, I don't know how to call this move, man. Uh, hop, hop step? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop step. So just kind of a hop step. Yeah, he's trying to reach. That's perfect, you know, because you're making that big think. Yeah. And you do a great job using your body. Um, and I really like when you're decisive and aggressive in pick and roll also, especially going to your left hand. Sometimes uh -huh. when I'm on my left hand, uh -huh. I like to go. I see disadvantage. I yeah. like to go fast. I don't like uh -huh. to a little bit. Sometimes I'm, I'm waiting, you know, I'm slowing uh -huh. it down. Sometimes I think it's better to just attack immediately. Uh -huh. I see the advantage uh, weaker. Yep. And if I'll you have a crease like that, you know, just go. Uh, and that's what you do here. And then you have the nice little slow down finish, um, the, the Euro special. Yes. So impressive stuff. Um, and again, on your back here, settle, you know, you get the mid-range. Um, so having all those parts of your game, uh, maybe a pull-up three, the mid-range, and then getting to the rim and, and creating for others. Um, but again, you know, just being comfortable with this left hand and, and keeping your dribble, yeah. I think, is, is important, as you can see here. Kind of kill it. Uh, and if you kept your dribble, then you have all these options. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just here are confused. I thought mm -hmm. about throwing it off, to off, to uh, off the top or mm -hmm. bounce pass and then eventually thinking too much. I got to steal. Yeah, but again, you know, with more reps, uh, you're certainly going to improve in these situations. And then in isolations, whether it's against a switch or um, just a, a wing defender guarding you, the key to that is being able to make pull-up threes. Honestly, you see it from some of the best players in the NBA. Definitely. You remember this play? Yeah, pull-up three. And that's been a part of your game at the, at the FIBA level. You've had the step backs. Um, what do you like to do in isolation situations? Um, mostly read the situation. If it's mm -hmm. like um, if it's like uh, a heavier uh, player mm -hmm. defender, maybe he's gonna drop back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I will have space to shoot. Mm -hmm. Or if he's close, I'll just blow by. Mm -hmm. If it's a smaller guard, I'll just pass and go to the post. Maybe mm -hmm. or I clear the corner and go to the post. There's mm -hmm. something that I can also do. Um, there's something that I I, I work on. And me, me and Tim always talk about. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and again, just being able to make that pull-up three is going to, you know, 
suck guys out and they have to respect you there. Um, so you hit the first one and just becoming, I think, you know, more consistent from the perimeter in those situations. Because uh, as you can see here, if they don't have to play you, then it's a lot easier for them to kind of stay with you, keep you in front. Um, but again, you're going to continue to get better and better in those type of situations. And then I would say the last thing offensively for you is just your finishing. Uh, how would you describe yourself as a finisher right now? I need to be more aggressive as mm -hmm. finishing. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, I need to start thinking about uh, going higher and dunk the ball mm -hmm. every time I can. Mm -hmm. It's not something I think about during the games, mm -hmm. but um, I think I'm doing better job uh, from the past. Uh, just uh, sometimes I just want the contact to create a foul. I mm -hmm. just don't want to go to to finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think going strong. We we saw you dunking the ball earlier, being aggressive. Here, I would say just go go put your head on the rim. You know, you're six nine. You're you're a good athlete. Um, they should never be able to to do that to you be, because of your athletic profile. And then maybe having longer strides to the rim also. Like, watch your last two steps here. Very short and choppy. If you can if, find a way to stride it out, get all the way to the rim. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, these are things you're going to continue, obviously, getting better at. But, you know, with your size, um, with your athletic profile, you know, there's no way you shouldn't draw more fouls. Um, and then maybe here with the left hand, maybe just extend with the left. I think you finish anyway. Um, but just little nuances like that, uh, you know, are going to, I think, go a long way. And here, you remember this play? Yeah, they're pressing. Uh -huh. uh, he's giving me the, the right lane. And you I'm reject the screen? aggressive, yeah. With the left. Love it. I love it. You know, showing some creativity, uh, showing the ability to finish from different angles, that's important. And then lastly, you have this little slowdown floater here again. Um, this is an important shot in the NBA because you're going to have Rudy Gobert rotating over from yeah. the inside. Uh, <laughs> some yeah, for sure. And it's, it's a tough adjustment. So, um, again, offensively, I think you've had some really nice moments this year. Uh, how much of an emphasis has, been, has rebounding been for you? Um, I really like to rebound, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of uh, big guys. Sometimes, you know, you just don't want to, yeah. uh, you just don't want to steal mm -hmm. boards. It's all about stealing boards. I remember a funny story, and uh, me and Quincy was, was talking about, um, I'm, he gives me permission to crash the board. So, yeah. so if we have a tall player, um, against us, so he's always telling me crush the board now, crush the board. So yeah. don't like when we don't have it. You know, sometimes it will come to me and I'll, and I'll board and I won't steal, you know, boards. You know, they get really yeah. frustrated because of this. But and, and, well, and because of your ability to push off the break, I yeah. think that's why rebounding is, is going to be really important for you. Because there are times when at your size you're going to be playing as a forward defensively in the NBA just because of the way the league has gone. Uh, and when you can play that big and also operate as almost a point guard offensively, that's a really tough mismatch. Um, so here, maybe just being a little more physical and driving this guy back. Yeah, you know, Th using that's, your that's, body. that's 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 one one of the most things I hate the most about the rebound because yeah. that that situation, this guy is not weak. He's right. a big guy, right? Yeah, for sure. So it's not easy for me to no. push him push him backwards. So I mean, most of those shots from the corner are gonna end up on the weak side. On the weak side. Yes. So it's probably it's a fifty. It's a sixty forty yeah. situation for him. You know. Yeah, and, and this is a tough situation because of the pick and roll yes. switch. Um, and just maybe getting as low as you can and just being as physical as you can, being scrappy, being a fighter, um, because that's, you know, that's, that type of stuff drives coaches crazy. Yeah. Um, and what about here? Didn't box out, didn't see him. And it's not always a box. Almost sometimes it's just a check, yes. you know, just a little check so you can still pursue. I think rebounding has changed in that regard. Um, just a check so you can pursue and, you know, go get that ball because you're big enough, you're athletic enough uh, to go get a lot of rebounds. And then, you know, you're going to be battling guys like Tillman, right? Right. And you remember that? Yeah. Gets inside, keeps the play alive. Uh, but when you go to the glass, when you really attack – like, you're a great rebounder. Watch this. You remember this? Um, Just a little thing like that. Going to the glass and a tap out. Like, your coach is going to love that. Just when you're active and aggressive, uh, and then that starts to break here again, really attacking the glass. Boom. And then you're going. Um, so you have all the tools to be, be a great rebounder for your position, and I think you're going to keep improving. Uh, this is the area where I've been really impressed, is your weak side help. And like this summer, I remember watching you and wasn't never in my game. 
Yeah, but this summer you. Yeah, this summer. This summer no, was that, the first. Start. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. This yeah. summer was. So what happened? Was ever? I don't know. Now you're like this shot blocking. I don't know. They they made me a shot blocker, rim protector. Because you had to play kind of as more of a big. I think it came from. I want to help the team yeah. as much as I can. Sure. So we didn't we, in the under twenty. We didn't. If you see this roster, we yeah. didn't have a. We didn't have shot blockers. Right. We didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, rim protectors. Mm-hmm. So I took it to my side. So I knew that we have great guards to guard outside. Mm-hmm. So I took this role and I and I gave myself that that role of of okay. I'm not, I'm now con- gonna contest all the inside, all the paint area. Mm-hmm. And get the boards, and, and that's that's what I did. That's what helped the team uh, play great defense. I think in in the summer, and I and I um brought it to the to the first team. You know, I just try to just try to stay vertical as much as I can with mm-hmm. my both hands up. Sometimes you know they call a foul, but uh, most of the times I just I, I just contest the shots. And it's been great. You've been a really good team defender. I think all season your defense in general has has made a big jump. So what do you see here? See here, he's blowing by. It's my uh-huh. weak side help. Yep, I'm right there. Right, and, and you do a great job of jumping when they jump, sometimes even before. Uh, and that allows you to use your size. You do a great job of he comes into your body, yeah. you don't foul. This is one of my favorites. Like, look how quickly you're, you're off the floor almost before he is. Yes. Uh, and then you get the block at the rim. Um, again, so no, nobody showed you this. Nobody, this is just, it's you just <laughs> put this into your game. Yeah, it just came. Yeah, no, it's great. I, coaches are going to love this. Um, surprise it's a nice surprise yeah and then i mean you're gonna face big body guys like this this is gonna happen in the nba yeah but it's that's you know that's a tough shot it's a tough shot and i think the one way to combat that is by being there early like you are here watch you meet him out you meet him right outside that circle that's what coaches want to see meet him outside the circle your vertical tough shot um so that's been really impressive to see you grow there uh, and develop into a guy because when you were younger, like you were not much of a defender. No, hell, no, yeah, not at all. hell no. You can I say hell no. I didn't, <laughs> hell no. I didn't, I didn't care about the defense that much. Yeah, but um, I think one of um, I can give a really. Uh, first of all, I had one coach who, when I came to Maccabi, he really punished me not mm-hmm. playing defense. Okay. He gave me he gave me the side of why it's important to play defense. Yeah. yeah. And I started developing and, and being a better defender because, you know, if I didn't play defense, I didn't play. So yeah. I might as well play a little bit of defense. Yeah, for sure. And in the senior level, you have to play defense. I mean, especially with uh, Coach Giannis. Yeah. Uh, def- defensive, the, his defensive part is the most important. That's what's uh, win us the games. And, and I'm trying to be the best I can in those uh, aspects and situations. No question. Okay. And then so now let's dive into closeouts. All right. Uh, so it's about being in the right position. It's about reading and reacting. What do you do here? You see you on the weak side? Yes. So? I'm I'm taking the big out. So yeah. Jake will be between the two defenders. Yeah. If... So it goes to the wing. Okay. And then you're out. And you're there right on the catch. Yes. Perfect. It's perfect defense. This is Malachi Richardson, I believe. He was an NBA draft pick. And you do a great job of then keeping him, him in front. Sending him left. Contesting. That's perfect. Perfect defense. Coaches will love that. And then again here. Um, see Jeff Whitty with a yep. smaller guard, yep. helping out a little bit. You know that that's a risky situation because that's that's when when I need to be here more mm-hmm. than here. Right. That's a tough closeout right there. But you cover ground, high hands, get him off of his spot. Then you're using your body to defend the post, and then you don't foul. It's perfect defense, perfect. Um, so you've had some really good closeout moments this year. One thing I will say is, I don't know if you guys teach this. A lot Strong of coaches will help. say. A lot no. of coaches. Well, yeah, that's one. No, no strong side. We don't strong side help. Sometimes they help too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, we have a little of that, I think. And another thing coaches will teach is not giving up middle drives on the closeout. Um, so you know, yeah. if there's a way to, as you close out, force them toward the and, baseline. And, and if you can see the the situation, we have zero fouls. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe make a yeah, one foul to could. send them send them to the sideline. You could, and just that middle drive is going to create. You know, now you guys are yeah. in scramble mode. Um, but off the ball, how do you think you've been? So aside from the verticality stuff, how do you think you've been? Sometimes, you know, sometimes I pay attention a lot to the to the ball mm-hmm. and not to my guy. Sometimes I fell asleep. Yeah, it happens. I think it's been a mix. It's been some really good moments and some some you know learning yeah. moments for you. Um, what should you maybe be doing here? Um, maybe. I don't know because it's tough with the big. Yes, because this big is wide open for yep. a dish. Yep. So, so you have to be there. So maybe I'll put. I'll be. 
I'll be more down and I'll yeah. be one leg like this and uh-huh. one leg to him. And it's tough. That's a tough part about team defense yeah. is you have to kind of be in position to play multiple guys, uh, but maybe just being a little bit more down toward uh, the baseline to take that, that's, that's that pass away. Right here. Yeah, wide open three. Um, right, yeah. yeah, so then, but here's a clip of you doing it perfectly. A D- little bit different situation because there's no big there, but you're taking away that, that baseline drift. Uh, and you do a great job. Your head's on a swivel. Get the steal. Perfect. Um, so, again, we've seen some of the good, some of the bad. What you mentioned before, this isn't exactly strong side, but you probably don't need to help there. I don't need to help. He's with him. Mm-hmm. He's putting his body. It's just um, terrible help. And end of half, that, that's the type of situation where Giannis says, Denny, you're going to sit on the bench yes. to start the second <laughs> half. Um, so, I, I knew right here. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you were done. <laughs> yeah. And, that, you know, it, it's just little mental things like that that come with experience. That's the position I need to be when I'm with the wide open three right here. Like this. And look. Zeus gets back cut, right. and you're there to help. Right. Zeus needs to, go f- Zeus needs to go out of the paint, I think, and I need to stay with him. Yeah, and what happens? Check it out. Boom. Steal. Exactly. Good communication, uh, good positioning, really well done. And I will say you do a really nice job of denying the catch uh, with these guys. You've blown up a couple of these dribble handoffs. Uh, you guys keep stats. like. Uh, yeah, we have that. Um, we have, I don't know. They, they Nico don't, was kind of describing to me. They don't show us, though. They don't okay. show this. Uh, they don't show us a lot of positive things. Mm-hmm. Like that, uh, well, this is one of them. You know, they're, they're kind of in scramble mode. Uh, he picks up his dribble, and you do a great job of making it a difficult catch for him. He's completely out of sorts. Elijah steps in, takes the charge. So uh, just playing with energy like that is going to go a long way for you. And then I think you've done a really nice job on the ball also. Uh, how many positions do you think, like, what positions do you feel most comfortable defending? Every. Yeah. I mean, I just like challenges. Mm-hmm. I like to get the big, si- the big guys inside. I like to fight them. Um, trying to, to, to play uh, guards outside. Mm-hmm. I can do this as well. You know, we have a lot of talented guards in Europe, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying to... Um, how you say focusing on the tactics? Maybe uh-huh. he's uh, he doesn't like to go left, so I'll send him left. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. Stuff, little stuff like this make the defense way better. Like I I tried to force him left mm-hmm. right here. I didn't succeed, but I closed him the right as much as I can. Yeah. Um, and you did a great job. Up. You did a great. You do a nice job of sliding without fouling. Um, and you know I think again you've improved so much defensively guarding you know fours threes even switching on the perimeter. You remember James this? Young. Yeah, great player. Yep, NBA draft pick. Yes. I think seventeenth to yes. the Celtics. Talented. And here he goes left. You do a great job of staying with him. He loses balance. You're on the floor. Um, that's that's great defense. And then here again against a point guard. You know who that is? Um, uh, McNeil. Yeah, Jerome McNeil. Yep. Uh, you do a great job of keeping him in front, staying with him. Uh, and he's a really good player, and, and, and you're he, active. And, he, and, he, and I need to give him a shout out. He gave me. He said to me, "Good defense, young boy." Yeah. yeah. So we had him uh, with the Bakersfield Jam, 2012-13. I spent a year with Jarrell. Really? Yeah. He's, he's one of the toughest competitors you'll find. Um, we yeah. see you. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played against him when he was in a pole. Okay. Yeah. He's he's had a nice career here good, in Israel. Great so player. shout out to Jarrell. Yeah. Shout out to Bakersfield. And uh, here, James got you a little bit. Yes. You remember this? Yeah. Just got in the game. Um, he got me with a step back. I thought he's, he will, he will go all the way. Yeah. He gave me with a step back. He hit me on this one. He got you I'll wobbly. Give it, yeah. A little bit wobbly. I'll, I'll give him this one. <laughs> <laughs> so these, these are the type of guys you're going to be facing in the NBA. You know, yeah. you're going to have to guard maybe a Paul George or maybe a Kawhi Leonard. Um, so, you know, just staying locked in and, and learning their tendencies. But again, you do a great job of kind of staying with these guys and then using your size and length, uh, to make it tough at the rim. How do you think you've been in the post? I think I'll def- I think I'll have some situations that I will uh, blow up, like blow by. But mm-hmm. I think mostly I'm giving a good fight in the post. Yeah, definitely yeah. not easy. Who is this? Do you know? Uh, Howell Richard. Yeah, he he gave you. He's, some work he's a, a strong. He's a strong. But yeah, he's strong. Strong. Uh, good touch in the post. Mm-hmm. It's not easy to guard him. And you guys, I think, are even throwing a double at him. I would just say have your be low and have your hand ready for this rip through. Um, just finding different ways to be more active because knowing he's stronger than you, yes. right? So how can you disrupt him? Um, and he gets, you know, right to the front of the rim. Uh, but but if you see... Let's run it back. All right, let's run I it love back. It. I love it. If you see... Okay. We ran double, mm-hmm. right. And so he should I, come I, earlier? Yeah. 
So I, what I need to do is send him this way. Right. And he needs to be right here to to protect to to double him. And it's just a little yeah, late. Yeah, I didn't. I, mostly, I don't give baseline. I don't give. Uh, I don't give any directions. Right. I just I just put my body in. But right now, you know, you see, he's coming right here. Mm -hmm. Just put put two hands up, and that's over. But right now, it's a little bit late. Yeah. Um. So easy layup. Yeah, easy layup. But again. Just being trying yes. to be as physical as you can yeah. is, is the only thing you can really do. And this is against Alba. You do a really nice job of that. You're battling. Strong dude, by Strong the way. Dude. Strong. Who is that? Uh, Giffy. Yeah, Neil, Niles Giffy. Yeah. Uh, and then using your length, staying straight up, um, that's really good defense. So you're going to have to guard some of these big, strong guys in the NBA. Uh, and so I think, I think you're more than equipped. Now, this is the last clip. One thing. I don't know what you want to say. You, 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 have you seen this clip? Yes. Okay, let's watch it again, though. It didn't happen for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, mean, I found one. Nice. Um, so, okay, you're, you're fairly open. Um, yeah, fairly. But watch, just watch. Watch you the whole time. Hands up, hands up, hands up. And even after you score, the head's down. Yeah. You've gotten a lot better at this. How do you... I, don't, I, don't, I didn't do it as much often as I did before. So how, how are you – is this something that the coaching staff talks to you about? How are you working through this? Because you have to find that balance between you're competitive, you're expressive, you're emotional. Uh, but sometimes it's yes, this. It happens. It's part of the game. You yeah. know? Sometimes even I don't see yeah. passes. But, you know, it's, it's doing the game, a lot of emotions. Yeah. Doing, maybe let's say you had seven straight or nine straight points yeah. and you want to keep going. Yeah. And you don't. It's, it's a lot of emotion doing the games, but um, – I'm I'm always I'm always down to to f play to look and reflect and like to to give just to be part of the team. Maybe yeah. maybe I didn't get the ball right here. Maybe I was like frustrated for one second, but it, it won't affect my next offense. Right. I, right. I won't come next offense and be angry mm -hmm. and shoot and shoot f because of anger. Right. Yeah. You you moving on to the next play quickly. Oh yeah. Happen. Happen. Let's yeah, go. Of let's, let's play. Yeah. Of course. No. It's 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 just one thing that. Maybe scouts who don't know you will see if they've never seen you play and they come over and see you and, and they, they, this is something they'll write down and say, oh, and maybe but they'll see I it want, as a negative. But I want to say you a, ask you a question. Yes. How, like, how many, like, did you ever see players not getting frustrated when they're wide open? It barely happens, right? Yeah, no, you're right. Barely. You're right. I, I mean, look, sometimes, at, sometimes, look at Luca. You know, he's frustrated all the time. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it helps get him calls, you know. So I think there's the right balance. You need, just, you need balance, definitely. You need balance. Definitely. You can't like be all the time. You know, you're wide open. You need to say something. Yeah, yeah you know? of course. You can. It's really hard not to say anything, but um, you know, it's just part of the game, part of the emotions. You know, a lot of a lot of things. I don't think like uh, depends body language. It it can happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's 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 basketball. You know, yeah. it's just, it's because of you. Your competitor. You want to you want to be as good as you can and and to help the team to win. It's not about Oh, I hate this teammate. He doesn't pass yeah. to me. He doesn't like that. We're good friends out of the court and on the court, and everything is cool. But sometimes it just happens that we have plays that uh, I'm getting frustrated a little bit. Heat of the moment. That's what happens. No question. And your competitiveness is something that I think people like about you. So um, it's about finding that balance. And so I guess as we look forward here, what are your goals for the rest of the season? Keep working hard. Mm -hmm. um, keep improving. Uh, you know, one of my uh, biggest thing that I like about um, basketball is, in, and especially in my age, is to see improvements. Like, see the film and see, oh, there's a move that I didn't do, I didn't do before. And that's a move that I worked about. They, those moves in the posts, mm -hmm. I worked on those moves w almost two years but I didn't touch it for half an year. Mm. So let's say suddenly it pops up. Suddenly it's a surprise. Maybe the defense, the verticality, all the sliding, sliding workout defense I did. Mm -hmm. It's you know it's 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 maybe I work on it right now and it mm -hmm. doesn't show right now, but mm -hmm. it will show up eventually. For sure. And that that's the one of the biggest thing I like about basketball and 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 me and me developing. Um, just keep shooting as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I like really. I like to to put up shots. I have a gym next to my house. I go every evening, maybe we eleven o'clock at night mm -hmm. or, or ten o'clock at night, just p to put up shots and 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 polish my my uh, my mechanics. Mm -hmm. Um, just don't let games affect me. Yeah. Maybe I will have great games. Maybe I will have games that I won't score. But I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I know what kind of player I am. Uh, I know what I'm aiming for, and I know how, how hard I'm working, 
and I don't need anything to interrupt in my way. And maybe one thing scouts always ask me is about any player. What does he do? Why, why will I put him on the court? What do you think is your val- – like what, what do you bring to a team? Why is a coach going to – NBA coach going to look down the bench and say, Denny, you're in? Just um, – just winning the game, want to win the game, want to change the game. Mm-hmm. Maybe the game won't go, go good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm bringing energy, mm-hmm. bringing uh, toughness, mm-hmm. bringing uh, fighting spirit. Mm-hmm. It's it's contagious. For sure. It's, it's contagious. When when somebody's fighting and you see him on the floor and getting bored and stuff, everybody wants to, to, to take a part in this. And do you, last thing, do you, do you follow the draft? Do you follow the guys playing in the States? Are you, do you pay attention to all this? No. No, no. I'm focusing on, on 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 my goals right here in Israel. Focusing on my goals with Maccabi. Yeah. Um I know there's a lot of good players out there and I wish I wish them good luck and and keep working hard to them also. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. And one last thing I just want to give a shout out to, you know, who is a good friend of mine and, and your longtime agent, Maurizio Balducci. Uh rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, rest a legend in peace to your who friend you know, played a big role in, in your development. And so, Denny, I know you'll dedicate your, your career and in, in this season to him. And, um, you know, I wish you the best of luck as we move closer to June. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.